Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Welcome to today's Thursday, May 6, 2021, season opening Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School Bay State Conference Interdivision Baseball Action. Coming to you from Eldraca Field behind Bird Middle School in East Walpole, today's opponent will be the Red Hawks of Nada Kai. Uh, let's see. Walpole is, uh, my, oh, sorry. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports, and I'll be providing all the action in today's contest. Because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, today's game marks the first varsity contest for Walpole since the semifinal round of the Super 8 tournament back on June 19, 2019, 685 days ago. The Orange and Blue finished that season with their second straight uh, in the Super 8 tournament with an 18-6 record. In postseason play that year, Walpole was blanked by North Andover star pitcher Sebastian Keene after wins over Braintree and St. John's Prep. The Prep then uh, ousted the Blue Thunder with a heartbreaking 7-6 win. Walpole running out to the field. Uh, we'll go over some quick starting lineups here for Natick. Leading off and playing third base, uh, Tom O'Keefe. The left fielder, uh, Mike Guiney, will be batting second. Center fielder Carter Doran will be in, uh, batting third. The cleanup hitter, J Sam Schuster in right field. Designated hitter Ryan Moltzman, Holtzman will be uh, batting fifth. Uh, playing second base and batting sixth will be Jack Byrne. Seventh uh, batter in the third base position, Brendan Rodman. Catching and batting eighth, Henry O'Connell. And batting ninth, uh, the shortstop, David Bugio. For your Walpole baseball team, leading off and playing second base will be Jack, Jake Preto. Third baseman Max Martin will be batting second. Luke Janowicz at first base will be batting third. Designated hitter Nick Femigletti will be batting fourth. Catcher Corey Kilroy will be batting fifth, followed by shortstop Charlie Corsack. Batting seventh will be number the right fielder Zach Oles. Left fielder Tucker Hayes will be batting eighth. And batting ninth will be uh, uh, center fielder Jason Finkelstein. On the mound for Walpole is uh, Cole Donato. Pitching for Natick is Anton Cicerelli. Okay, we're ready to get underway here on a beautiful May day. Leading off for Natick is the third baseman, Tom O'Keefe. The two managers going over the starting lineups with the umpiring crew. Baseball team awaits patiently to get this game underway. Walpole's pitcher Cole Donato is the brother of former uh, Walpole st star pitcher. Matt Donato. I think that's a Matt Donato. Boy, you've been away from it for two years and you forget the kids' names. Today's games uh, for all of the Walpole sports would be the first varsity games of the uh, spring 2021 season. Donato staying loose out on the mound. Donato a right-hander. 
umpires seem pleased. Heading out to their positions. And we are ready to get underway with third baseman Tom O'Keefe stepping up to the plate for Natick. back to the mound. And now he bends over, wipes the plate clean. And we are ready for some baseball. Natick in the Carey Division of the Bay State Conference, Walpole in the Hurricane Division. Tomato looks in for the sign. Pitch. It's a ball. And the delivery. Swing and a miss. Evens the counter. The ball and a strike. Cole's pitch. High and inside. Two and one. on its way. Foul back out of play. Count remains full. The payoff delivery. It's a ball. Donata gets their first runner on base with a walk. Brings up the left field of Mike Guiney. strike. Donato looks in. Back over to first. O'Keefe's able to get back on time. Again, 
Three balls, two strikes. Ball four by and Nadix got two runners on base. Brings up the center fielder, Colter Doran. Swing and a miss. Just blew that one right by him. Brings up the right field of Sam Schuster. Swing and a miss. I'm sorry. is actually uh, Anton Cicerelli, who's not pitching, I guess. They made a change here. There's a ball up high. strikes. There's a ball, evens the count at two and two. Strikeouts and two walks for Donato in this first inning. Brings up the designated hitter, Ryan Holtzman. Strike call. seems to have found his groove now. Pitch, swing and a miss, strike three, gets out of a jam. So far, Natick in the first, they had no runs, no hits, no errors, and two men left on base. The end of a half an inning, it's Natick zero, Walpole coming to bat.
down for Natick is Josh Libby. Walpole's batting order once again. Jake Preto batting first, followed by Max Martin. Luke Janowitz in the third position. Cleanup hitter Nick Famoletti. Catcher Corey Kilroy is batting fifth, followed by shortstop Charlie Corsack. Right fielder Zach Oles, Tucker Hazel seventh, and the ninth batter will be uh, center fielder Jason Finkelstein. Five pitches for uh, Donato that inning. Fifteen of which were for strikes. is Preto batting from the left side of the plate for Walpole's baseball team. Here's the pitch in the dirt. Ball one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Strike one called, one and one to Preto. Libby looking in, comes to the set. Pitch fouled off. One ball, two strikes. way outside of all full count pitch by Libby is a strike call caught him looking and it brings up the third baseman Max Martin out of the set called strike one. One strike pitch on its way. Foul back out of play. to Martin. It's a fly ball foul down the right field line, out of play.
Base hit into center field for Martin. The first hit of the season for Walpole. And it brings up the first baseman, Luke Janowitz. Past the catcher, Martin will scamper down to second base. Two and zero, the count. Walpole gets a runner in scoring position with one away. Pitch. It's a ground ball up the middle of the shortstop over to first. He gets him. Martin advances to third. And it brings up the cleanup hitter, the designated hitter, Nick Fimigletti. Fimigletti. Third, 90 feet away. Famoletti falls off, fouls off the first pitch. Baseline foul. Two strikes, the count. The two strike delivery on its way. Foul back out of play. Count remains 0 and 2. for Walpole it brings up the catcher Corey Kilroy Libby gets over to first Famoletti is easily back Ball, a little bit. 
bit outside. One and one, the count. The ground ball up the middle. Nice snag by the second, by a, oh no it didn't, it bounced off of there. That'll be a base hit. And it brings in Martin with the first run of the game. And it brings shortstop Charlie Corsack to the plate. Walpole nets the first run of this spring season. Ruby's pitch, strike call. First and second for Walpole in the bottom of the first. The orange and blue on top, one to nothing. There's a high hopper. This could be trouble. Everybody's safe. Bases are loaded. As uh, Corsak is able to beat it out. third hit of the inning. And it brings up the right field of Zach Oles. Ball low and away. for Walpole. Strike one. Two balls and a strike. count here. Bases full. Two outs for Walpole. Strike call. Full count. Runners will be off with the pitch. Forces in another run. Walpole jumps out to a two to nothing lead here. As Libby started strong with a call third strike on Preto, but then. Uh, Walpole's put together two, two singles and two walks to load the bases and force in a second run. Uh, Kilroy's base hit drove in the first run of the game and it brings up the left field uh, Tucker Hazel. Ball outside.
does lead off. Ball in the dirt, 2-0. Centerfield, uh, Jason Finkelstein, the ninth batter of the inning for Walpole. It's a strike. Strike the count. Strike two call. Two balls, two strikes, bases loaded, two outs, three in for Walpole here in the bottom of the first inning. There's a line shot. That is caught by the right fielder. Two in the inning. But Walpole comes up with three runs on one, two, three hits. There were no errors. Three men left on base. At the end of one inning of play, the score is Walpole three. Natick nothing. that inning for Libby as he really struggled, 21 of which were strikes. Donato had 25 pitches in the top of the first inning, 15 for strikes. <laughs> Leading off for the Red Hawks and top of the second inning is the second baseman, Jack Byrne. and misses at the first pitch. There's a ball in the dirt. Swing and a miss. One ball, two 
strikes. Strike three, couldn't hold up on the swing. Fourth straight shut up, strikeout for Donato. Brings up the third baseman, Brendan Rodman. Strike pitch on the way. Up high a ball. Strike call. Ball two strikes. Two strikes. Well, I've been waiting for the pitch. It's on its way. Strike three called. A deuce there. They tossed him and caught him looking. Brings up the number eight hitter, catcher Henry O'Connor. Strike two call. Donato quickly ahead of O'Connor. Two strikes. Just missed on that one, a ball and two strikes. Strike three calls. So six straight strikeouts here for Donato. Weird outing so far. Walked the first two batters of the game and then has struck out the next six. For Natick in the second inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. At the end of an inning and a half, the score is Walpole three and Natick nothing. Pitches, 24 of which have found the strike zone. Walpole will start off with the top of their order. Uh, be Jake Preto, Max Martin, and Luke Janowicz. Caught looking his first time up, opening the inning for Walpole. Yeah. 
comes a ball. Up high, 2-0. Source officer Tommy Hart, along with the ever present Rebel, the service dog, making an appearance here today. The 2 0 pitch swung and fouled off down the first baseline. Two strikes, the count. The ground ball, the shot. He's up with it over to first. He got him. One down. Brings up the third base on Max Martin. Max single to center his first time up. Scored Walpole's first run of the game. Here's a high pop up. Two outs, it brings up first baseman Luke Jenowitz. Jenowitz grounded a shot his first time up. Strike called. Shot to short. Up with it over to first. He got him. One, two, three inning for Walpole. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. At the end of two, it's Walpole three, Natick nothing. Easier inning for Libby that inning. Natick will have their nine, one, two batters up. David Pujillo, the shortstop, third baseman Tom O'Keefe, and left fielder Mike Guiney.
Donato looks in for the sign. Here's his first pitch, a swing and a miss. By Pui, Pui Ho. Oh, and won the count. And on its way, it's a ball, a little low, one and one. Quite high. Over the outreached glove of uh, Kilroy. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, two and two. Strike three, seven straight Ks for Donato. And it brings up the third baseman, Tom Keefe. He drew a full count walk to open the game. One of two walks allowed by Donato to start this contest. There's a ball. One and one. Wind blowing in from left field today. Foul pop out of play. Ball and two strikes. Two and two. Strike three called on the outside part of the plate. And it brings up the left fielder, Mike Guiney. He drew the other walk off Donato to start the game, but since then, uh, eight straight have gone down by the K route. Swing and a miss, strike one. There's the pitch. Foul back out of play. No balls, two strikes to Guiney. Two strike pitch on its way, just outside. A ball and two strikes. to the count. There's a ground ball to third. Fires over, gets them in time, and the side is retired. Snaps uh, the strikeout streak of eight straight by Donato. But he has retired uh, nine in a row for Natick in the third. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. At the end of two and a half innings, the score remains Walpole three, Natick sought nothing. Through 
three innings, Donato has thrown 53 pitches, 33 for strikes. Walpole will have <coughs> Nick Famoletti, Corey Kilroy, and Charlie Corsack coming to the plate this inning. Josh Libby still on the mound for the Red Hawks. Famoletti uh, was hit by a pitch his first time up on a two strike pitch. The Lippy had him on the ropes, but then plunked him. Foul ball at the plate. strikes. Libby's 1-2 delivery on the way. Inside, 2-2. Two two. Corey Kilroy. Kilroy singled deep in the shot stop hole. And that drove in Martin with Walpole's first run of the game. There's a ball. is able to keep the ball in front of him. Gets away from the catcher, but must have been a must have missed a strike in there. Three and one. Fly 
high ball to right, going foul. Full count to Kilroy. Ball four. Walpole has a runners on first and second with nobody out here to start the bottom of the third inning. Shot stop Charlie Corsack coming to the plate. Charlie singled his first time up. for Nadek. It's a left-hander. Uh, Josh Gibby. Sack. There's a ground ball, base hit into left field. Runners stay in there. Base is loaded for Walpole. There's a Fimaletti held up at third. Bases loaded, nobody out for Walpole. Brings up the right fielder, Zach Oles, who was hit by us, uh, walked to force in a run in the first inning. Corporation broadcast team. shot into the left center, uh, right center field. That'll bring in two runs. And Corsak hustles over to third. Two runs come in on the play, two RBIs for Olds. Gives him three on the day. Walpole's got runners on first and third, still nobody out.
show the new picture for Natick. Charlie Collins comes in with the five runs in for Walpole so far. through 66 pitches, 36 of which for strikes, but he did allow uh, five walks. And I think four hits. Five hits, six, six hits. So far, all five runs are credited to him. Tucker Hazel at the plate. He walked his first time up. There's a ball. Ball pull with runners on first and third, and nobody out here in the bottom of the third inning, already holding a five to nothing lead. There's a bunt, it's a beauty. Collins fields it, throws to first, they get it, but the run does come across. Beautiful bunt by Hazel. Drives in his second run of the game. Walpole moves to six, six to nothing. Brings up the center fielder, Jason Finkelstein. gets away and racing down to third base is Zach Oles. So Walpole with another run in scoring position 90 feet away. 3-1 count on Finkelstein. Ball four. Received. Brings up the top of the order, Jack Preto. Jack over to Jake over to wild pitch there. Stein races all the way over to third on that wild pitch. Oh, 
two. Swing and a miss by Preto. Two balls on the strike. One out for Walpole here on the bottom of the third. Walpole baseball team holding a seven to nothing lead. Strike called. Twenty-two the count. Oh, and Prado. The ground ball to the first baseman. He gets it. But another run will score. up the third baseman Max Martin. Max is fouled out and single to center. Swing and a miss. a line shot up the middle to the shot stop, picks it up, fires over to first. He got him. And Natick is finally out of the jam. Uh, but Walpole comes up with five more runs to take an eight to nothing lead after three innings. They had uh, one, two, Three, three hits. And then left on. So through three innings, Walpole has eight runs on six hits. They've left three on base. Natick has no runs, no hits. They've left two on base. Uh, Donato cruising along here. Walked the first two batters of the game, struck out the next eight, and got the Mike Guiney to ground a third for the final out of the third inning. So he's retired nine in a row and looked quite overpowering doing it. All right, leading off for is the center fielder, Kadar Doran. He started the strikeout streak back in the first inning. Pitch. There's a ball outside. Ball two. Two and oh. <coughs> Ground ball to shot. Up with it, fires over. Safe, he drew him off the bag, drew Janowicz off the bag. That will go in as an E6. And it brings up the right field, uh, Anton Cicerelli. Yes. Sure. 
swung right through that one. No balls, two strikes. strikes. Runner on first, nobody out here in the top of the fourth inning for Natick. Donato keeping them close. There's a ball outside, two and two. Just able to hold up his swing on that. Full count. Doran leading off from first. Foul back. Out of play. Swing and a miss, strike three. The ninth K for Donato. Brings up the designated hitter, Ryan Holtzman. The fan swinging his first time up. Pie a ball. Side three and oh. Strike two. Full count. <laughs> All four. Nadix got two runners on. And it brings up the second baseman, Jake Jack Byrne. Struck out leading off the second and eight. Left handed batter. Ball. Swing and a miss, strike one. strikes. Coach Chris Costello starting his sixth year at the helm of Walpole. There's a little foul ball down the left field line out of play. Costello has led Walpole into the playoffs all five years. He's been coach including the Super 8 tournament the last two 
seasons of play, which will be 218 and 19. No spring sports were played last year, as you know. Strike three called. And it brings up the first baseman, Brendan Rodman. called and uh, Donato had to stop his motion and slip off the mound. Did a little tumble there. Seems to be okay. Rodman steps back in. Strike called at the knees. 0-2. Two strikes. It all gets away from Kilroy. Runners move up. scoring position here with two outs in the top of the fourth trailing eight to nothing two two pitch on its way to Rodman With a flare into right field that breaks the shutout One now, and it brings up the catcher, Henry O'Connor. There's a ball. Outside, two balls and a strike. Kilroy going out to speak to Donato. Walpole holding a eight to one lead here with two outs and a runner on, uh, two runners on first and third. Top of the fourth inning. Two balls, one strike to O'Connor, the catcher. Number eight batter for Natick. Swing and a miss, strike two. Zanata looks in for the sign. His is 2 2 offering. Up high, full count. Is here. And it's high and away. Red Fox have something going here as they load the bases with two outs and bring up the number nine hitter, shot stop David Weho. Two 
Braun. Again. Right on it, six. Right on it. We go heading, hanging tough there. Twenty-two, the count. Way with the bases loaded, two outs in the top of the fourth. One run in for Natick. That's high, it gets away. And the runners will all move up. And a full count now to Puyo. Field a base hit. One runs in. Here comes the second run. The throw to the plate is cut off. And Puyo comes through with a two run single to left. And Natick is making some noise here, cutting the lead to eight to four. going out to talk to his pitcher. So after cruising through the first three innings, Donato runs into a little bit of trouble this inning. Started off with an error. So the first run in is uh, Actually, I'm not sure if they're all unearned. But it brings up the top of the order. Tom Clark. He's walked and struck out. Donato keeping Puyo uh, close at first base. Strike call. on the field, it's in. Holes is able to get the ball back in before another run can come across. First run is at the corners for Walpole with two outs. Number ninth hitter of the inning for Natick, Mike Gein at the plate. Takes a ball. <laughs> Swing and a miss. One and one. Ball. Right 
Williams in the field. Over the right fielder's head. There's one run in. And two more. And Natick has suddenly come alive here. Six game. Still a road talking to Donato, and that'll be all for Donato. Uh, three and two thirds innings. Uh, let's see. One, two, four hits. Eight, ten strikeouts. for all the runs that are in. Walpole is Matt being Cooley. The first batter he'll face is center fielder Cotter Doran. He opened the inning by reaching on an error. Two and oh. Three and oh. Anton Cicerelli 
Adams to the plate. on its way, swing and a miss, two balls and a strike. Runner on second, seven runs in for Nadek here. In the fourth. Strike three call. But Nadek comes up with seven runs on, uh, let's see, one, two. Five hits. Seven runs on five hits. It was one error, one left on base. At the end of four and a half innings of play, the score is Walpole eight, Natick seven. Facing uh, Charlie Collins for the second time. And it'll be the number three hitter, Luke Genoix, the first baseman, coming to the plate for Walpole. three innings. Donato ran into a little bit of trouble. In the uh, top of the fourth, as Natick was able to bat around and then some, uh, scoring seven times. Walpole's still on top though, eight, seven. Genowix is grounded out to shot twice. Takes a ball. all the way to the backstop. Designated hitter Nick Vimaletti. 
Nick has walked, and we have a pitch scored twice. Driven in a run. Second baseman calling for it and puts it away. One out, run over and first for Walpole. Brings up catcher Corey Kilroy. side. Fly ball to left field. Long fly ball. What a catch by the left fielder over his shoulder. Tremendous catch by uh, Mike Guiney out in left field. Back to the plate, running full speed, sticks his glove out, makes a fantastic catch. Robbing uh, Kilroy of extra bases there. Two outs, runner on first for Walpole, and it brings up the shot stop, Charlie Cossack. Ball. Foul back off the backstop, one and one. Side part of the plate, a ball and two strikes. There's a line drive. Center field that catches it going away. No runs, no hits. No errors, one left on base for Walpole. At the end of four innings, Walpole leads eight to seven. Walpole with eight runs, six hits, uh, four left on base. Nadek, seven runs on five hits, and three left on base. And we go to the top of the fifth inning here at El Draca Field. Still on the mound for Walpole. He will face the five, six, seven batters in the lineup Ryan Maltzman, Jack Byrne, and Brendan Rodman.
plate. Ball one. We're gonna miss one and one. Strike two. One two count now on Waltzman. Ball outside. Two and two. Fouled off the catcher's mitt. Count remains twenty two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Ben Cooley picks up his second strike out of the game. And it brings up the second baseman, Jack Byrne. Jack has struck out twice. Strike one. Center. I think the Steins there and makes the easy play. Two outs. And it brings up the first baseman, Brendan Rodman. Brendan has a base hit and struck out. Tried to hold up, couldn't. Strike two. One two count for Rodman. The shot. He's up with it over to first, and the side is retired. On Natick, they had three up, three down. After four and a half innings of play, Walpole leads eight to seven. Thunder coming up to bat this inning. Right fielder Zach Oles, left fielder Tucker Hazel, and center fielder Jason Finkelstein. up a little bit here in the later innings as it normally does in the springtime. Officially with a run scored. He also drew a walk. Strike called. A little pop 
up up there for a space and catches it. One down. Pitches a ball to Hazel. Strike call. Tucker is uh, has a sacrifice bunt and a walk. Officially not at bat. Files it off off the Bird Middle School gym wall. Ground ball to third, backhanded long throw, he got him. Two down for Walpole. And it brings up the number nine hitter, center fielder Jason Finkelstein. Walked and scored a run and lined out hard to right field. Strike call. Swing and foul back. 0-2. to pitch on its way. Fouled at the plate, goes down the first baseline. Collins in his second full inning of pitching. Third inning overall. There's a line shot, base hit it to left field. Jason comes through with a solid shot. Brings up the top of the order for Walpole, Jake Preto. Jake is 0 for 3. Hasn't gotten the ball out of the infield yet. Hit him. It's the second. Walpole play to be hit by a pitch today. Fanagletti was hit back in the first inning. So when it is a first and second for Walpole, two outs. two and two-thirds innings. <laughs> new pitcher for 
need is Cotadorin. in from uh, center field. All pull with two runners on, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth, leading eight to seven. They'd like to get a, a couple of insurance runs here. Max Martin will be coming to the plate. He's one for three with the single and a run scored back in the first inning. Steps up, runner in scoring position, two on base for Walpole here, bottom of the fifth inning. Orange and blue on top, eight seven. Strike called. Ball up the middle. It's going to be close. Nobody can handle it. Thrown away. So two runs that will come in for Walpole. Base hit and an error. He won. So Walpole gets their ninth and tenth runs on that play. <laughs> They're discussing whether Preto should be allowed to score. like they're going to send it back to third. Oh, no. no, I guess not. I guess he is allowed to score. So two runs come in for Walpole on that play on the base hit by Martin. Brings up Luke Genowix. Takes a ball. Luke is 0 for 2 with a walk. Time called and back in. Here's the pitch by Doran. Strike call. One and one. Doran's one one pitch on the way. There's a hard ground in the second. Wobbles it, throws over, and holds it up. And Walpole gets a, another error by Natick. Preston's third, two out. Brings up Nick Fimoletti, the designated hitter. Nick has been hit by a pitch, walked, and popped out to second.
swing and a miss. One and one. Again, count remains at two and two. Runners on first and third for Walpole. Two outs, bottom of the fifth. Two runs in. Walpole on top, eight seven. Ten seven. a new ball. He gets it. And the payoff pitch on its way. Filed off into the woods. Remains three and two. Fimoletti hanging tough out here. Three foul balls with a three two count. All four, and they're loaded for Walpole. Brings up catcher Corey Kilroy. Corey has uh, singled twice and flight out to left. <coughs> A pinch runner for Janowitz. Sam Donovan, pinch running. Ground ball, past the third baseman into left field. One run in. Ball being thrown around, Walpole's able to get two runs in, so two more runs score. Corey gets his third hit of the game. Well, Paul still has two runners in scoring position and gets two more runs this inning. Makes it 12-7. And it brings the ninth batter of the inning up for Walpole. Shot stop Charlie Corsack. Swing and a miss. One 
strike delivery. Ball one and one. Strikes the count. Foul back. Back to the mile. Doran gets it, flips over to first, and the side is retired. But Walpole is able to do more damage. They come up with four more runs on four hits. There was an error, and one, two, three, two men left on base. At the end of five innings of play, Walpole has uh, 12 runs on. 10 hits, no errors, and uh, seven men left on base. Natick has got seven runs on five hits, two errors, and two, three left on base. Uh, we go to the top of the sixth inning here. Cooley's still on the mound for Walpole. their eight, nine, and one batters coming to the plate here in the sixth. Uh, catcher Henry O'Connor, shortstop uh, David Puijo, and third baseman Tom Keefe. Connor is 0 for 1 officially with a run scored. He struck out and walked. on O'Connor. And Cooley's pitch foul up behind the third base side. Uh, first base side, I'm sorry. Count remains one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Brings up the number nine hitter, Dave Puijo, who had a big uh, two-run single in last uh, in the fifth inning. I'm sorry, in the fourth inning to spur the uh, Natick rally. The swing and a miss. One and one, the count. Swing 
and fouled off at the plate. for a sign. Yes, the pitch. Foul back out of play. It's a little foul flare just out of the reach of Janowicz. Count remains 22. Pitch down low, full count. Popped up. First baseman puts it away in foul territory. We have two outs. And it brings up the top of the order. Third baseman, Tom O'Keefe. O'Keefe has walked, singled, and struck out, scored a run. Swing on that. Balls it off. One and two. <laughs> Cooley looks in for the sign. He's got it. Here's the pitch. Two and two. is the side. <laughs> For Natick, three up, three down. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Walpole on top, 12 to seven. out for Natick on the mound. For Walpole, it'll be Zach Oles, Tucker Hazel, and Jason Finkelstein coming to the plate. Walpole scored four runs last inning to open a close game with Walpole had been leading eight to nothing. Natick scored seven in the fourth, make it eight seven, but Walpole came up with a four in the fifth to give them a little bit more breathing room here.
Zach Oles comes to the plate. He's one for two officially. Singled in the third. Fouled out in the fifth and walked in the initial inning of the game. It's a ground ball to third. Long throw over, gets him. And Tucker Hazel steps to the plate. He is 0 for 1 officially. Uh, grounded out to third as last time up. He had a sacrifice bunt in the third and walked in the first. He takes a ball. And it brings up the number nine hitter, Jason Finkelstein. He's one for two officially with the single and two runs scored. Got a key single in that four run seventh, uh, four run fifth. He takes a ball. on the strike. Two one pitch by Doran. Line drive, base it into left center field. Second hit of the game for Finkelstein. That brings up the top of the order, Jake Preto. Jake is uh, 0 for 3 for the run scored. He was hit by a pitch in the last inning. in the first on that play. Again, almost got Finkelstein leaning the wrong way. Duran keeping him on. Nice move he has back over the first. Two and 
Goldstein's going. He's goes in standing up. And it was a ball. 3 and 0 to Fredo. Fredo. shot. The center fielder going back. He pulls it in on the run. And Walpole is retired. No runs. Two, one hit. No errors. One left. After six complete, Walpole still on top. 12 to 7. Nadix got their last shot coming up this inning. They'll have the two, three, four batters coming up, so pretty much the heart of their batting order <coughs> against Matty B. strikeouts in the game. They've had at least one every inning. With uh, Donato getting seven and being coolly six so far. All right, leading off for Nadick in the bottom, top of the seven. Left field of Matt, Mike Guiney. Strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. right there for the out. Brings up the number three hitter, Carter Duran, a pit. He's side in center field now pitching. Like to help himself out here with a base hit. on its way. Foul back out of play. Count remains two and two. And Cully's pitch popped up. Gilroy makes the play. An acrobatic catch there. Ball was going all over the place. He was trying to get out of the way of the uh, umpire. And everywhere he moved, the umpire moved with him. 
but he made the play. Two outs. We are down to the last shot for Natick. It's the right fielder, Anton Cicerelli. He has struck out three times. Line drive to left field. Center field. And it's uh, pulled in by Jason Finkelstein to end it for Natick. Three up, three down in the seventh. So, your final score for Walpole, they have 12 runs on three, six, ten, on 11 hits. They left eight men on base. Uh, the winning pitcher is uh, Cole, Cole Donato. He went uh, three and a third. Three and two thirds gave up uh, four runs on seven hits, at four walks, ten strikeouts. Matt B. and Coley finished up the final uh, one, two, three and a third. He gave up no runs, no hits. Uh, had one, two, two strikeouts, no walks. Wait a minute, one, two, three. Three strikeouts and no walks. So, Walpole starts off on the right foot uh, to open the season. Uh, final score once again from Eldraca Field. Walpole baseball team 12, the Natick Redhawks 7. We'd like to thank you for listening to this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast, and we will see you shortly with another game.